If you guys are looking to buy some cheap and reliable MT, head on over to AOLA.com and use code YBC at checkout for a discount. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back. Bring another video, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Showtime Galaxy Opal, Chris Webber. Real quick, before we hop into the video and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. This right here is now our fourth video that we've uploaded today. Earlier, we did a pack opening, gameplay with Magic, gameplay with LeBron, and also this right here, guys, next up is Webber gameplay. So like on this video would mean a lot from the heart. Jumping straight into it right here, as you can see, we have this brand new Webber card, who I just picked up off the auction block a few minutes ago for 100,000 MT right on the dot. I myself am not on PC for this gameplay right here. I switched back to my console, so that right there is the console price of Chris Weber. He's right now going for around a price range of 90 to 100 ish thousand MT around that range. Every single year when it comes to Chris Weber's cars, 2K always juices them up a ton and gives them great animations, also great attributes and badges. With this card right here being Opal, I'm pretty sure they did the exact same thing, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this man's badge and attributes before we hop into the gameplay. And 2K made him right here a half power forward, half center, standing at 6'10", weighing at 245 pounds, coming with a grand total of 46 Hall of Fame badges, 23 gold badges, add that up, grand total badge count of 69. Considering that there are around 74 slash 75 total badges in the entire game, this man right here, Chris Webber, as you can see, pretty much comes with every single badge in the game except for six of them. And the six that he does not have are Teardropper, Ice and Vein, Steady Shooter, Bailout, Stop and Go, and Lightning Reflexes. Everything else right here, guys, he does have on Hall of Fame, in which I'm sure a lot of you guys saw. He did have Hoff Range, Hoff Quid Draw, and Hoff Clamps, which is a massive W. Moving along right here, taking a look at the attributes for Weber. He does come with a 92 driving layup, 95 post fade, 97 mid range, 94 three point, 92 free throw, and a 97 driving dunk. As I mentioned with 2K, juicing him up a ton in previous 2Ks, they did, they did this year as well when it comes to the offensive attributes. Playmaking wise for Chris Weber, he does come with an 89 ball handle at default, which means he can speed boost at default. You don't, you don't need a special shoe or special coach to boost him up in order for him to speed boost. Defensively, he's a stud, 96 block, 96 interior defense, and both 88 for steal and premier defense. Moving on to rebounding, he does come with 96 for both offense and defense. Rebound, 93 speed, 89 speed with ball, 96 vertical, 98 stamina, 91 lateral quickness, and wrap it all up, he does come with both a 95 for defensive and offensive consistency. So based off of the body frame, badges, and attributes for this Opal Chris Weber card, he essentially looks like a clone of Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis because Galaxy Opal AD is 6'10", same body frame, has like a lot of 90s in the attributes, same attributes similar to Chris Webber, and Galaxy Opal AD also comes with nearly every single badge in the entire game, same thing like Chris Webber. So for those of you guys who are trying to go for that Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis collect your reward card, now that this Chris Webber card came out and he's pretty cheap around 90, 200 KMT, I would say honestly it's not worth it at this stage in the game. Get yourself a Chris Webber card low-key because he is a clone of AD. Based off that note, without further ado, let's now hop into the gameplay with this Opal Chris Webber card. Good deal, let's go. Worth play the game right there. Webber gets that steal. Now he's on a break. Good ball with Chris Webber. Attacking and paying. Going all the way inside. Drawing a foul and nearly getting an and one. Strong take right there. Let's take a look at the free throw is looking like early on in this game. The first free throw is up and green and money. He has a pretty generic free throw and an easy one at a time. The second one right here is up early and money as well. Steal. Thank you very much. I'll take that, Webber. Trying to snatch it back. 4-3, open, bang, let's go, nice shot, Chris Webber, big boy side by Giannis, let's go, Giannis up to court, trying to attack the paint with a foot of steam, hop step in, let's just lob it up down here to Chris Webber, boom, nice slam dunk inside, as Chris Webber now has 7 points, and we're only 40 seconds into the game, I'm not gonna lie, having Chris Webber in a pick and roll game, in terms of him going to work and create his own shot off the pick and roll, is low key bread and butter, we're gonna try to do the exact same thing right here, Webber come off the screen, Oh, we played that very, very well. Back to Weber, though. Catch and shoot from deep. Hand down, man down. Ooh, big board, though, by Josh Smith. To Giannis. More to Weber. Trying to tie the paint right here on Curry. No way in the world. Curry can stay in front of Weber. So going all the way. Posterizing. Carolyn, go. Steal. Nice steal by Jace Move. Uh, you know exactly what we're giving it to. Chris Weber running the floor. Chris Weber going all the way inside. With a nice left handed dunk. Is that right there? Did activate Weber's takeover badge. The first takeover badge activated form of the game. In which, a takeover, I'm sure a lot of y'all can see, is a glass cleaning one. I'm not gonna lie, I low key wish his takeover was slashing because having slashing takeover honest man would be so much fun to use. The glass can is, is still cool. We're attacking the paint, hop seven all the way. It's a weird layup. We get on offense rebound though down here. Going with a nice post hook inside and 100% smothered. <laughs> Somehow, some way goes in. 
Josh Smith on a break to Chris Webber. I'm gonna try and stop and pop for three. Bang! That release is cash money. It is definitely really, really fast and smooth and easy to green. Steal! Oh, my opponent got baited out of his mind right there. No, come on, give me a steal, 2K. Wow, he got a bailout and then. Alright, anyways. On to the next possession. Gonna be back to Weber right here and let him work out up top again. No wonder what my opponent's gonna be able to stop Weber. Nice move, nice snatch back from really deep. Ooh, very late. Weber attacking paint with a full steam ahead, going all the way, drawing another foul. This right here is gonna be two more easy free throws. As I mentioned earlier, his free throw release is too easy to green and time. So our second quarter right here, I want to give it to Chris Weber in a post low, deep down in here. Nice pass, and we're gonna open, nice post look inside, and another 100% smother goes in. I say this every single video, I'm gonna say it again. The post needs to be nerfed in NBA 2K21. It is way too overpowered in NBA 2K20. Steal! My opponent got baited again, let's go. Whoever picks up that ball, and now he's on a break, attacking and paint, going all the way! We're too fast for everybody. Easy two handed duck for Weber. No one what that goes in. Wow! Wow! That right there was only 37% contested. <laughs> wow. Anyways, like I say, pretty much every single time a bad play happens, on to the next player here. We got Weber in the low post area on Luca. And Weber inside gets that layup to go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not mad at that shot going in. I'm mad at the contest. That contest should have been a red. Weber right here in the left corner, gonna try to work out with him. Attacking the baseline, hops up and all the way! It's a nice little posterizing dunk on King James. All right guys, looks like we're probably gonna force my opponent to rage quit for this gameplay video. Again, right here, guys, closing down. Yep, if your opponent doesn't match, and I press X a little bit too fast. But yeah, he lets his match GG to this guy right here. Now, usually what I do with gameplays like this right here is I play one triple threat game and call it a video. But because I do need some more unlimited wins, guys, I'm going to hop into a more unlimited game with Opal Chris Weber. We win tip right here the second game. That is a great size. We have Weber right here. And a stop and pop from the pain. This man right here start off, start off this game right here like he did the last game. It's like nearly get that inbound steal. Big boy inside by Warburg. That is a great board over Giannis and over and beat is right there. My opponent got a little bit of square happy and spinning out the square button, drawing that foul. I'm gonna try to run a nice pick and roll right here between Weber and Giannis. See how my opponent plays this one. My boy Weber actually popping for mid range, wide open, and that's contested, but it still goes in. Wow, does Weber just simply does not seem to miss. Obviously, Weber has missed some stuff in the paint, but when it comes to jump shots, guys, he barely misses. I have no idea how that was only 12% contested. Anyways, on next play right here. With Giannis to McHale, trying to play. Open 4-3, green beam for my boy, Kevin McHale. Good defense, Josh Smith, and board by Weber. My goodness, Weber's doing everything for our team. Right here, he's putting ball to court, looking to attack paint with a four to steam. All right, let's actually give it to Glenn Rice. We got to beat on us. No way, no way in the world to beat could hold. Glenn Rice, attacking the paint, hop stepping. Okay, I don't really know what that is. Got Weber now attacking it. All the way inside, and that layup by Weber is good off the glass. Good steal by Weber. My opponent got baited again. Weber's on a fast break, trying to go all the way with a nice one-handed ferocious dunk. Is that right there, guys? How we're getting off this first quarter. In this third quarter right here of this game, I'm not going to lie. My, my guy, Chris Weber, hasn't really been doing much. That is because my opponent's been kind of a sweaty opponent. i kind of been having to sweat this game. We have Weber, though, on a pop wide open for three. Bang! Green that one wide open. My boy Weber is still doing anything though, regardless, he has 15 points and 4 boards, shooting 6 of 8 from the field in this game. Good boy inside of my boy Clay Thompson. Clay up to Weber. Weber stopping and popping from really, really deep and bang! Still knocking that 3 pointer down. We're approaching right here a 20 point lead. Good steal by Weber. Let's go Dizzy down in here with a nice layup. Okay, that's no good. Oh, somehow, some way that goes in. Wow. I'll take it. <laughs> thought that was going to be off for sure. My boy Weber again, Dizzy down here to paint with a nice post hook, and that is good. Two more easy points for Chris Weber. I'll take it. In this fourth quarter right here, we are doing our thing. We're up by 15 points. As I mentioned earlier, this dude right here is definitely a sweaty opponent. So I've really been commentating much. I've been kind of just sweating my balls off a little bit playing up against this dude. He's leaving Magic. I mean, Giannis Open is still tagging the paint. Okay, this is a weird offensive possession. Going to go back to the post with Chris Weber. And that layup inside is good. Weber now with 24. Weber, it's left open. For the mid-range area, green light. You cannot leave this man Weber like that wide open. His release is too easy to time. I guess my opponent has not learned his lesson as we're right now in this fourth quarter. Weber on a break right here. Stopping and pulling and knocking down that three-pointer. Let's go, Chris Weber. Weber now with 29 for this game. Is that right there, guys? I'm going to do it 
for this ball game. All right, guys. So right there, now I was gonna do it for this gameplay of Cruise War, but this gameplay right here was definitely a pretty long one. Usually, I don't, I don't get this long of gameplay, but my point did not want to quit in the second game, so we ended up playing a full game alongside half the game from the beginning. It's all good though, you know. Chris Webber, regardless, did his thing, as he did combine in two games for around 60-ish points around that range, five, six rebounds, five assists. Very, very solid performance from Weber in this video. As we're now going moving on to the card review for Chris Webber, I think that he is a 10 out of 10 card, and I think that he is as good as Obwendy Davis, guys. As I mentioned earlier, he's a clone of him based off the attributes and badges and body frame, and I'm gonna stand tall to what I said, guys. I'm gonna basically repeat what I said because I feel confident after using him that he is a clone of AD. So for those of you guys who are thinking about buying like 600, 500, 200 cards, however much you need for AD, I would say don't do it. Save your MT. Get yourself this quiz over for around 100,000 MT who could do the exact same thing that AD can do on the court. You can low-key make a case and say that Chris Webber is better than AD, although I think AD is better than Chris Webber, but honestly, it is not my much. I more so think they're just as good as each other. So based off that, I know guys, that right there now is going to do it for this gameplay video and this video as a whole. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And as usual, as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.